this cream dries out the skin. This cream dries out the skin. It does. Just going to be very um, brief and summarize all that is written here. It says Nivea Perfect and Radia. It used to be called Nivea Natural Things. I think I suspect that a lot of um, consumers were buying it with the hopes that it was going to make them fair. Even the advert, it was a fair lady that was there. Sometimes I don't understand why marketing strategy. And um, probably by the time people got it, and because this is not going to lighten it. This is not really going to brighten it. So eventually they changed it to perfect and radiance. So it's stated here that it's for all skin types. Um let me read what is stated here. Try Nivea Perfect and Radiance Lotion. The unique formula in which with great offers you four benefits in one lotion. One, beer berry extract provides visible even tone and radiant skin. Liquid rice also helps to brighten dark spot and the discoloration. 3. UVA slash UVB filters to help protect your skin against sun damage. Glycerin and vitamin E provide intense moisturization for smooth skin. Okay, so I've used this. I've been using Nivea Natural Finish. It was actually my sister that introduced me to this cream. When I used it, I really loved it. First, I love how it smells that the stickiness it gives when you apply it on the skin. Now, I've used it for like six months, and here's what I can say. Number one, it hydrates in, but this cream dries out the skin. I don't know why people are not talking about it. This cream dries out the skin. It does. Like... The moment you apply it, you first of all get this hydrating effect, the silkiness, and after that, it just pew. Then it feels as though your skin is even drier than it already is before. So the claim that it moisturizes is a, is a lie. This cream does not moisturize. Yes, it's hydrate, but it does not moisturize the skin. Number two thing is this cream is not going to lighten you. It's not going to clear your dark spot. That's just the bitter truth. So if you're buying this cream with the hope that it is going to lighten you, but the hope that it's going to give you a caramel skin, my dear, it's not gonna give you a caramel skin. It's not gonna. This cream doesn't give you caramel skin. It's mainly for dark people who have gotten really dark and they just want to tone up a bit. They don't want to anything that will bleach their skin or alter their skin tone, but you just want to tone up a bit. Yes, yeah, this is very it's for people like that. But if you are a light skinned person and you are using Nivea Natural Fairness, it's only a matter of time before you get that. That's just the truth. Another thing about this cream is that it repairs the skin. Yes, it does. If you have a bleached skin, you have an uneven skin tone, you have poop and fun sock color, then please come and get this cream. This cream is going to even out your skin tone. As it claims here exactly what it does it's going to even out your skin tone so now i think that would be all about this cream what it just me does is repairs and hydrates the skin so now if you're someone like me who, uh, who has a dry skin you have your skin is very dry very very dry like you know. please i recommend you use it alongside a body oil you could just Pour the oil on your palm, then pour a little of this on your palm, and then you rub together and then you apply it on your skin. Or better still, after you've applied it on your skin, you lock in with the body oil. But for someone like me, who is a student, who is very busy, with mom, who is also very busy, I would just recommend you get almond oil by Skin Doctor. I don't know if it is almond oil by Skin Doctor. I'm going to be posting a picture of what I mean. Or any oil like you feel is very good. Just have pour it inside this lotion, mix together and use it. So that way you're able to get both hydration and full moisturization.
Now, if you are someone who likes to promix, this lotion is not for you. This lotion is not for you. I'm telling you now, this lotion is not for you. Yeah. This lotion is, it has a running consistency. That's why it's a lotion. So by the time you pour this, you pour that, you pour that one, you pour this one, it's going to be so watery. It will separate. The cream will be up, the oil will be down. And you don't want that happening in your formation. Okay? So now, if you're a promixer, this cream can be used as a secondary base. Let's assume that you have a lightning cream that's very, very thick. And you're looking for something to use in the consistency. Or to tone down the um, whitening effect. Because sometimes when you're using a whitening base cream, you actually need something. Because you're going to be adding other serums to it. Now you need something that's going to like hydrate skin. Oh, I'm starting to deviate. One key thing about skin lightening is moisturization and hydration. If you're making a whitening cream and... Your cream isn't moisturizing and hydrating. The rest are sure that you're about to damage your client's skin. Just have that at the back of your mind. So now this cream is a very good cream as a secondary base. But if you are open to, probably you're someone like me who is going to stick to this brand for a very long time. And you want it to clear your dark spots. Because this would not clear your dark spots. Let's just be sincere with each other. It doesn't clear dark spots like that. Maybe if you know you are the type that is going to be patient. And trust me, I believe so much in slow and steady wins the race in skincare because that's how it works. But imagine trying to play a particular dark spot and you have been using a product for six months. Who has that kind of patience? Really, I don't have that kind of patience. I'm sincere with you. So if you are someone who doesn't like changing cream and now you have dark spots or you like this cream, but you open that it can, you know, boost the efficacy of the cream. I would recommend you use a concentrate or a serum. Now, if you use a serum that has licorice extracts in it, you could use a serum that has mulberry extracts in it. You could look for a serum that has beer berry extracts in it. But it's always kind of like hard to start looking for serums that has licorice and beer berry. So what I recommend is that you use the Kojic Acid Serum. That serum is very mild and it's very, very effective. I'm going to be posting a picture of the Kojic Acid Serum I'm talking about here. So all you have to do is, I think that Kojic Acid Serum is like a 50 ml serum. So all you have to do is split this into equal acts, that is 200 ml, and pour one of that Kojic Acid Cream into the lotion mix together and apply it that way it's a very very good dark spot removal so applying the kojic acid into this lotion is going to help with your dark spot. now another concentrate that I, I know that is quite effective that is very active is the um Lotus C concentrate i'm going to put a concent the concentrate here so you know what i'm talking about it's a very good concentrate that is formulated to target dark spots and it's very very safe so now if you're open to you're a dark skin person and you're open to clear your dark spots, okay, just 50 ml of that glutacy concentrate into one of this. It's okay. That way it doesn't alter your skin, it just targets brightening you up a bit and clearing the dark spot. But if you're someone who you love Nivea natural fairness and you're hoping that it will lighten you but it's not giving you the result you want. You can have a full glitter C concentrate inside this 400 ml of um, the lotion. I even forgot to show you guys. This is how it looks. So um, I think that will be all for my review on the Nivea Natural Fairness. I'll be all for today. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever there is an upload coming from me. Yeah, that will be all for today. Bye.